extra sensor. Huh? That was oddly muted. Okay, what's in the extra sensory lab? A bunch of things, apparently. Well, we got a crate up here. I'll take you. Personal mods, full. Great. I, I had a feeling that this was going to happen. Okay, what can, what do I want to get rid of? Health boost, dodge efficiency, shield energy cost, launch energy cost. Okay, we'll deconstruct that one. I don't think I need the energy boosts. Energy recovery speed, evade energy cost. Let's just get rid of everything that's uh, tier one. How's that? Because it looks like they have tiers. Uncommon versus common. So let's just get rid of all the common ones. There, that helped free up plenty of space, didn't it? My weapon mods are also starting to fill up. Okay, what am I? Energy gain from headshots, rate of fire. Ammo cost per shot. Accuracy, all right, let's get the accuracy boost. And then this one, I kind of like damage boost. More projectiles, though. So. Oh, wait, this one's rank four. Shatter projectile. Ooh, okay. We'll go with that one. Oh, I can add a second mod. I forgot. Okay. Let's go with energy recovery speed up 25%. I like the sound of that. Personnel protection. Go to the mail room. Well, if I get the chance to go to the mail room, if I like, if the next time I get to a fast travel station, I will do it. I'm not really sure what the purpose is in doing these missions. Sensory tank purpose. Darling here, some of you were curious why I had these sensory deprivation tanks installed. I thought I'd shed some light on the subject. Maybe some of you have heard of a Dr. Yoshimi Tokui, the man behind the hugely popular guided imagery experience tapes. Apparently his tapes go beyond the normal meditative qualities of such things, but create genuine hallucinatory visions in some listeners, or so the reports say. We brought these tanks in to test Dr. Tokui's tapes for ourselves, plus there may be some stress-relieving uses for the staff down the road. I think we could all benefit from some time in a dark and closed space, don't you? If you have any more questions, feel free to stop by my office. You know where it is. Darling seems interesting. He's definitely hiding something. Dr. Tokui Investigation Dr. Yoshimi Tokui, a Japanese citizen residing in Tokyo, has produced a series of guided imagery experience audio recordings that have gained a notable popularity around the globe. Due to his unusually swift rise in fame, along with reports of vivid redacted accompanying the use of his tapes, investigations sector staff were asked to look into Dr. Tokui's background. We found no past incident with an altered occurrence, nor any evidence of involvement with an altered organization. However, agents that attended a signing event reported redacted when hearing Dr. Tokui speak. We recommend that the research team obtain an audio recording of Dr. Tokui's voice and perform any and all relevant analyses. Based on the findings, the investigation sector will determine next steps regarding Dr. Tokui as well as his eligibility for the Prime Candidate Program. Interesting. <clears throat> so those are extrasensory tanks. Those weird cylinders that I found in this room here. These are just sensory deprivation tanks. And the fact that I'm hearing voices, unless there's somebody up in the ceiling that I'm not seeing, means that there's people stuck inside of the sensory deprivation tanks right now. Alright, the hypnosis lab. 
Well, I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. Mesmerized by it. They're just standing there. Menacing rain. What's this? So what kind of pattern am I supposed to be recreating on there? I think I'm supposed to be recreating some kind of a pattern. Well, where's my template? Well, that's not very helpful. created it. Because I, I see it on the wall right here. Right there. But maybe I have it too thick. There we go. Well, he seemed pretty confident about his uh, chances, and so am I! Touch. Use Seize. I get a new ability called Seize, apparently. that low health can be seized. Ah! Seized enemies will fight alongside me. That's useful. So they're immune to my... The gold enemy is immune to my attacks. Didn't say anything about other creatures' attacks. There we go. Okay, that's a this is a cool ability. I like this. Cool. I have found the X-ray device. Are these guys... Oh, they're all dead. Okay. I was wondering if they were going to become hostile after I took this from them. Their brains were fried when I took over the object. Rip. Oh, 
All right. So now what? All right, I want to get up here, please. It doesn't need to be this difficult, Jesse. Okay, so I have this mailroom mission. Let me go. Let me go see what these are. So we need to go to. The, we're in parapsychology, and we want to go to the mailroom. Named enemies present a tougher challenge, but yield better rewards. Okie dokie, whatever you say. Alright, do I need to go into the mailroom itself? Secure the area, protect the remaining FBC agents. I could have seized him, but I have a challenge to kill 10 people using a spin. Ouch. Well, he's dead. Oh, that's a friendly. Okay. Three more I need to kill. Is there a, a thing healing these guys? One of those concentrated balls. Yes, there is. All right, let's go take care of that thing. Oh, that's a friendly. <laughs> Get back here. All right. I seize you. Okay. I think we only have a couple left. The mission is done now, right? So what did I get for doing it and why are there why are they still spawning enemies? I don't know why there's more enemies.
That was effective. Okay, is that all of them? Apparently not. <clears throat> Why are there more enemies? Mission is done. You good? Okay, you're welcome. I know I saved you, Raken. I'm not entirely sure of the purpose of that mission. It doesn't say... Okay, I must have gotten something from it. Uh, the object is a, a light box used <clears throat> to examine x-ray images. The image cannot be removed from the light box. The information on the image belonged, belongs to a patient named Redacted. The object allows para-utilitarians to forcefully seize an individual's Redacted. The seized individual becomes Redacted to the user. The effect lasts Redacted. Once released, the seize redacts as a result of the psychic trauma. The object has no current binder. A janitor named Redacted bound the object at St. Anne's Hospital in Redacted. Soon the building's occupants were redacted by him. The Bureau dispatched an emergency response team to Redacted, the perpetrator, and redact the item. Fatalities numbered in the Redacted. For optional details, see case. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure taking these temporary missions is something that I really care to do in the future, because I'm not really sure what I got for doing that. If I'm going to be totally honest with you. Perhaps I'm just blind. Let me read about the, the Bureau Alerts. They give you crafting materials. Otherwise they can be safely ignored. Fair enough. Alright, so I want to speak with somebody on the intercom. That intercom? Oh, this is the entrance. Alrighty then. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm setting the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. More of you? Really? Yep, really. The game will never stop. I'm going on a bold assumption that there aren't enemies behind me. <clears throat> okay, there aren't. It's a wall. Nice. There you go. Elevator. Nice. Perfect timing. She doesn't look normal right now. Her eyes are glowing and I don't know, maybe I'm just... Marshall is right down the hall. 